have the sixth fight of the evening on the Steve Goodwin promotion show and I'm pleased to say I'm, I'm joined by Steve Goodwin himself, the promoter. And we have Leo Roger in the, the black and silver shorts versus Mad Mitch Mitchell. Now, I've got to say to you Steve, as I said to you off air, it's a little bit of a weird one for me this Leo Roger, former Southend United football player and I as a teenager was a season ticket holder at Southend for seven years. So I've queued many a time as a teenager for Leo Roger's autograph. And, here we are seeing him in his pro debut at 36 years old, so it'll be interesting to see what he does in this sport. And we talked a little bit off air as well, he's got a very awkward style and you can see that straight away with his left yeah. hand low and looking for that right hand. I mean definitely, I mean well, he's the third generation, we've had uh, Curtis Woodhouse, we've had Leon McKenzie, now we've got Leo Roger. But uh, when I saw him fighting in the unlicensed scene, on he just danced around with his hands low and just popped a pop to punch out to knock his opponent out but he can't do that as a pro but you can see he's very awkward isn't he to say the least and it's been an interesting fight first all he's not lacking in confidence there they're both standing in you see he just puts his head out hasn't he yeah he's, <laughs> he's obviously confident in his ability and as a football player steve i know who is known as having a bit of a temper there Roger. And in the six years he spent at south end he received 32 yellow cards and three red cards so he's always been known <laughs> as having a bit of a temper so uh maybe he can keep his cool and use that aggression to transfer over and he's got a, a you know a tough opponent in in Mitch Mitchell, who last time fought uh, Andreas Evangelou in the last fight. And he put up a good fight against Evangelou, didn't he, at the, at the Copper Box last week? Yeah, he's, he's a tough guy, is, is Mitch Mitchell, and he always looks in fantastic shape. Mitch Mitchell, he almost looks like a, he could be a fitness model the way he comes in. He's always in incredible shape, but you know he doesn't get stopped very often. He's lost 15, but only stopped in two. But he doesn't win that many either. Winning two only by one by KO. But it's been a quiet first round there's not much been going on and it's hard to score so far it's more what you like Leo Roger has been trying to goad Mitchell in and there hasn't been all that many shots landed so far hmm. I think I think Mitch Mitchell is a perfect debut opponent for, for somebody I mean he's tough and strong and he'll come forward so you know Leo's got to start from scratch and show whether he's got a future as a professional boxer because at 36 he's got to make a move hasn't he he has and he's, you know he can't hang about and he gets catch with a left hook and a right hand there from mitch mitchell one of them on the gloves and the right hand getting through and i think mitchell may have done enough this round to so far be edging around and leo needs to to get a, a shot and thing and you can see the unlicensed style there he can't get away with some of the things he perhaps got away with the unlicensed scene it's it's almost like the amateurs, it's almost like two completely different sports, Steve, so he won't get away with that. He needs to be busier. You know, he's got really long arms, Roger. I'd like to see him use that jab a little bit more and try and keep Mitchell at bay. He's dipping down very low. But it is his debut, so he's going to be a little bit nervous in his first round. And it's a tough first round to score. Have you scored that, Steve? I would say I would probably call that level, but, you know, I can see why you'd score it either way. It depends, as you say, on what you like. trouble here Leo isn't he? He's leaving that chin in the air. Yeah and that was the things we said he, he won't get away with that in the pros that he got away in in the unlicensed scene and that was interesting he went to the floor and got up and the ref didn't administer a that count. That was very it, weird wasn't it? it? You know it was very unusual to see it's uh you know Roger would have been better off perhaps getting an eight count there and getting his head together but I wonder if that gets scored as a knockdown. Exactly well the... I don't think it will do will it because I think it's so it's just very, very odd. Honestly, don't know. I don't know whether the, the officials. So we'll have to assume it's, a no, it's not a knockdown unless we see anything to the contrary. But because that would affect the, the score, and obviously it would mean Roger would be two two rounds down, and possibly three if you think he's lost the first round or maybe he's drawn the first round. So he was certainly hurt there, and Mitchell smelt blood and went after him. And this is a thing with someone like Mitchell who's lost more than he's won if he gets the sense that he's going to get the win he's going to go for it for sure Roger needs to, to box a little bit better and get back on his jab and, and put the shots together and not just fall after Mitchell because he might not have many stoppage or many wins Mitchell but he's experienced he's been around the scene and he's fought some good you know he's fought Miles Shinquin and he's fought Spice Webb so you know he's been in with some good people 
He's coming for it though, Mitchell, isn't he? Very much so. Catch with the right hand there, and because Roger's got that very hands-down style, Mitchell doesn't have to look for him too much. He's just throwing the shots and catching him. And you can you can fight with that hands-down style if you've got good lateral movement or good head movement, but it doesn't seem that Roger's got that. He's his debut, so he might be nervous. He's been obviously on the. He's got, he's got a good jab though, Kevin, hasn't he, if you use it? Yeah, he's so tall, Steve, isn't he? And that's a nice right hand there. And you know, if Coming he can put the shots together, you know, he can get the. You know, he's got. I'm sure he's got good boxing ability. He only had three amateur fights, but we weren't actually amateur. They were just uh, licensed. Oh, no, am no amateur. Oh, no amateur at all. Okay. So he's only had three. Unlicensed three. fights. Okay. Wow. So. You know, he, he's got to learn the experience, but I suppose at 36 years old, he didn't have time to, to get much experience. But he's got caught up a couple of shots there, and he looks a little bit unsteady on his legs. And Mitchell's certainly having a go. Roger sticking the right hand to the body. Mitchell covering up well. But he looks like he's in a world of trouble, Roger. He needs to you know, get back to his boxing skills or, or use his jab and his long levers and his long arms that he's got. Ended around, and I think you'd have to score that one to Mitchell on my think, card, Steve. I He's think that's probably fair, yeah. I, think it's, I mean, I'd probably have that one round to Mitchell, possibly one round even. And I know you probably got it two to Mitchell, have you? Yeah, I think I've, I've got it two to Mitchell, and uh, I think he, he edged the first round, but I, I definitely think he won that round. Roche's got it all to do. Round three of the scheduled four round cruiserweight fight between the debutant Leo Roger, former football player, versus the experienced Mad Mitch Mitchell. And I know you've scored it one apiece. Steve. No, I've given it one. I've given it one and one draw. One and one draw. I've got so Mitchell one ahead. And I, I've got Mitchell two ahead. But again, that first round was very much as you see it. And Mitchell's come out again this round. Find the pressure. Rojo is trying to put his shots together this round, which is better. It's a to better see. start for him, for sure. Starting to look at his thing. Is he? Good? He looks like he's in good shape, Rojo. And as a personal trainer by trade, you'd expect that from him. He just looks a little bit unsteady on his legs, Steve. Doesn't look like he's. I think he was hurt in that uh, by a couple of Mitchell's punches. I think he's. It's not. He's not. But I think he's doing a lot better here. I think this is where he should have been in the first round or two. And, yeah, just keep, keep jabbing and keep his keep his uh, use his advantage. I don't think he's been using advantages as much as you'd want, really. No, that's it. Like I said, like said, use his long arms. And, but, I mean, we have to remember that he's not that he's experienced, and that may be why his footwork and his balance is a little bit off. But Mitchell landing with them clubbing shots, and the heads come together there. Just very awkward, Roger, isn't he? Just falling about all over the place. It's a bit of a, a, of a scrappy affair. It's certainly an interesting one to watch, Steve. Anyway, absolutely, it's, uh, it's gripping to see what happens. You can't, you can't look away. And I worry for Roger when he pulls away with the chin up in the air like that, in case he catches one as it goes over. And but he's moving out of the way. There, he missed that. He, he seems to be doing a lot better at avoiding the shots now. The haymakers, isn't he, in this round? Yeah, he's settled now. It's his pro debut, so you never know how someone feels at that. I always say on, on a debut, you can never tell how good someone is because it's such a big transition from the unlicensed scene or the amateurs wherever you come from and sometimes the event can get to people but he does seem certainly more settled here looking to try and put his shots together the one two turning the left hook to the body there well, i would say he's winning this round so far personally I don't yeah know i think feel. so yeah he's, he's he's been busier he's certainly got through more this round but he's so hands down isn't he he's so very casual so comfortable keeping his hands down there and but as you say, the harder, the up, up, bigger in class you go, the harder that is to get away with, isn't it? And you've got to have amazing reflexes. Yeah, if you've got good lateral movement or good feet, then yes, you can get away with it. You know, and it doesn't seem like he's got even there. Mitchell getting through with a right hand there, recoiling ahead. And Leo just seems a bit off balance all around. And a right hand left hook shoots in there. Roger took it well, though. And Mitchell certainly having a go on a right hand again, recoiling the head round of Roger. And I think they swung it back into Mitchell's favour this round, Steve. And like I say, it's a, it's he done it. He had a good, he had a good minute, 45 seconds, and he's lost the last minute and a quarter. So it's depend, depend it's how you score it. He's got a shot and two there at the end there, and yeah, it was a close round. I perhaps give that one a draw. I think Steve. I think Roger did enough at the beginning part of the round. So therefore, you've got you've got Mitchell two ahead, two ahead yeah, going to last.
pro debut for Leo Roger versus Mad Mitch Mitchell, and I've got Mitchell just ahead on the round. I don't know how you score it, Steve, but I've got Roger's got it all to do this round. We know Roger's got power, so hopefully we can see him go for it in this round. Yeah. And I don't think I don't think he's stopping Mitchell. I think, but really, you just want to see him win this round comprehensively, really. But he. First round hasn't he hasn't started that well. I mean Mitchell has caught him a couple, but I think I mean, he's just been drawn into a fight, Steve. He, yeah. You know he's got long arms. He, he's been drawn close from Mitchell. Mitchell's pressed him, and he's been drawn close. And you know when you're when you're six inches away from your opponent, it doesn't matter whether you're seven foot one or four foot three. The height makes no difference when you're in close. And that's what Roger has been done. He's been drawn too close, and he can't really use his long levers, his long arms from that close. Yeah. Especially with his hands down and, and Mitchell's experience, he knows how to cover up, he knows how to survive. He's been there, seen it and, and, and got the t-shirt, Steve. So but again a better round, better start to the round for Again Roger. I'd say he's doing alright at the start of the round again, first minute and a half. It's it's a very, very difficult fight to score, I think, because Roger is connecting with punches, but Mitchell has been landing with the cleaner stuff for sure. The left hook there, wobbled Roger in again. And it, again, Steve, it all comes down to that knockdown. Was it a knockdown in the second round? Yeah. Of whether it was a knockdown or not. And it's exciting, if nothing else. Yeah, it's to good say fight. About it. It's a good fight. So, and I hope Roger coming off this, whatever the outcome will be, will, will get back in and have another go. And whatever the result will be, it's exciting to watch. <laughs> Just getting caught there, leaving his chin out. He's got to, got to keep his hands up, Rojo, on the inside there. And he's, but he's pressing Mitchell this round. He's pushed him back to the ropes a couple Absolutely. of times. He's been a bit more aggressive, getting caught with the left hook as he pulls away there. And again, Rojo there, just, just been a bit slow with his hands or slow on the way out yeah. a couple of times when he's got into attack. And the right hand from Mitchell there has wobbled Rojo again. And he's tough, Rojo, that's for certain. He's taken that's a few sure. shots. So he's certainly tough. But Mitchell can't seem to miss him. It's, you know, his head's not a lot of headman for Roger, and, and Mitchell's finding when he swings them wild swings. But when Roger does that, you know, he, he looks like he can control Mitchell, throwing the one twos, throwing the jabs out. He can keep Mitchell at bay, but just too often he's been drawn in. And nice right hand there, and that jab's pushed out rather than snapped out from Roger. There, he's looking yeah. tired. He took some shots, and he's took them well though. I mean, he's a very hard man, isn't he? Tough man. Very, very tough. Yeah, he has taken some shots. I've seen lesser men would have folded from shots like that. And as of that, he takes three unanswered shots at the end of the round. And I've got Mitchell winning that one. It's a, it might not be a, a happy debut for former footballer Leo Roger. But, you know, let's take nothing away. Mitchell is a tough, tough man. And he came to have a fight tonight. Yeah. <laughs> There we go, 39 38 for Mad Mitch Mitchell. Unfortunately, it wasn't a, a pleasing debut from Leo Roger, but hopefully it will come again. At times, he showed some good boxing ability, and we'd like to see him go on and do that. So, 39 38 Mitchell.